Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite scarves that I made. I'm, I haven't really decided what to call it yet but I'm calling it uh, my Scarfy Super Scarf. It's, it's uh, three skeins of Scarfy uh, which is a lion brand. This is eggplant and top and it's kind of a giant basket weave idea and I just love this. I think this is just so pretty. I love these colors anyway so this was just great. But I'm going to show you how to do this. It's super easy. It's a very simple repeat. I think you might like it. I hope you do. Okay we need three skeins of Lion Brand Scarfy and this one I used there you go. I used Lion Brand Scarfy. I used three skeins of this one. This is eggplant and top is what I used here but what I am going to show you with is uh, mint and silver because I have that one already um, in a project that I didn't like so I had to rip it all apart. So now I have this one. So we're going to start. It's really, really simple. So all we're using right here is these are front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So it's almost like a huge basket weave. It's really cute. I love this. And it's really soft. Scarfy is already soft. But it's really, really soft and it's got a lot of texture to it so it keeps you very warm. So we're just going to start out with a slip stitch, any way you make your slip stitch, and a 10 millimeter hook. I think Scarfy asks for a six and a half. Yeah, this is a five bulky, so it asks for a six and a half, but I'm going up to a 10, so it's nice and fluffy. So we're going to make a slip stitch any old way you want to make a slip stitch. And in this pattern, this would be a chain 33 but I'm going to chain 13 instead because I'm just going to give you an example. I'm not going to make a whole scarf. And there's number 13. So there's a chain of 13. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to work down these little back bumps all the way down the back of the chain. One single crochet in each. So you'll end up with 12 single crochets. And I'll meet you down at the other end. There's our 12 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. That last one is trying to hide on me. So I'm going to mark it because I love my stitch markers. All they do is save me time. It's like a book marker. You're not going to pretend that you know which page that you ended on in your book when you need to go back. Why not mark your stitches? All right, so for the next round, we're going to just chain one, or the next row, chain one, and turn our work. And we're going to single or a double crochet in every stitch along here. But I start in this very first stitch right here. I do not count this chain one as a stitch. I am going to do a single crochet or a double crochet into this very first stitch. So I have a real stitch and we're not working into the chain at all on the next row. So 12 double crochets all the way across and I will meet you down at my stitch marker. And 11. And there's that sneaky one. And there's number 12. So we have 12 double crochets. Here we go. The next one we're going to start working front post, front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So what we're going to do first on the edge, the very first stitch and the very last stitch is just a double crochet. No posts involved. So we're going to chain one turn our work. In this very first stitch, remember that my chain one is not counting as a stitch. I am going to do my double crochet right here. Now for the next five, these five stitches right here, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So that's a yarn over and then you go through and behind that post in a double crochet. I'm going to do that again. 
and go to the next one and go behind the post and a double crochet. That was number two. We want five of those. Now for the next five, one, two, three, four, five, these ones right here, we're going to do a back post double crochet. So it's a yarn over and then you come in from behind that post and double crochet. And there's the second one. Three. Four. And five. Now we have one stitch left, which is a real stitch right here. Instead of having to work in the chain, we're going to do a double crochet. We do that on each edge every time. So there you go. We see we're getting, starting to get texture already. Oh, I'm going to take this out. Don't need that one right now. Look, we have texture already. And it's reversible. So you get the front post double crochets here and the back posts here. And an edging of double crochet. So for the next one, we're going to chain one and we are going to repeat that row. We'll repeat that exactly one more time. Exactly the same way it was. So there's a double crochet in the very first stitch after your chain one and then five front post double crochets. And the next five are back post. And our very last stitch is a double crochet in a stitch. We don't even have to work in the chain, which is always my favorite. I do not like working through the chain. So there you go. We've got it's like a little basket weave going on right now. Boom. For the scarf pattern, it's obviously much wider than this. So what we have here is there's 15 here and 15 here instead of five and five. So that's how we get the width, but it's still the basic same repeats. You just do that over and over and over and over again. It's awesome. We're going to do one more row of it. So you can see with the chain one and turn your work and do a double crochet in that very, very, very first stitch. It's a regular old double crochet. And the next five are front post. And one more. And the next five, on this pattern it would be 15, but on the next five, those are back post double crochets. There's number five, and the last one is a double crochet in this real stitch. Don't have to work in a chain. Yay. Here you go. That is awesome. Now we're at the point where on here, see it alternates. This is front post, this is back post. 
this is back post, this is front post. So we are going to change it up now and work the opposite of what we did here. So we're going to do a chain one and turn and in the very first one it's always the first and last stitches are always a double crochet. But now when we're going to change our direction or change our pattern here, we're going to do a back post double crochet in these first five. So we're going to do, it's like a basket weave look. It makes nice texture and it makes this scarf be super warm. And there's number four. And number five. So then you guessed it, in the next five we have to change it up. Since these were back posts, now they're front post double crochets. And that's how we're going to get that textured, basket weavy kind of look. And in the very last stitch right here we get a one double crochet. Now you can see that it's changed its look a little bit. Right here and right here. So we'll do one more row of this one. Chain one, turn your work double crochet into that very first stitch, five back post double crochets, one, and there's the number five. Now following what we did last time, these five, next five are going to be front post double crochets. And our last stitch is a double crochet. on the very end. And you can see they're alternating. This is great. This is exactly what we get here except our squares are much bigger. These are just little. These ones are this, this big. They're 15 by 10. So I'm going to do one more. I'll do that really quick. Chain one turner work. So it'll be all the same size. This is going to be back post. Be five back posts in a row. And then five front posts. And the very last stitch, of course, is a... There's my double crochet, my last stitch. There, now these are square. So now would be the time that you change direction when you're going to turn chain one and then do front post double crochets for five and five here and on either end is a double crochet. Do that for more rows. So what I have here is this is 15 and this is 15 and 10 rows high. Every 10 rows you just change it out right here. Front post, back post, and then the next 10 rows, front post and back post this direction. Front post, back post this direction. And it works very nicely. So this is a chain 33, single crochet 32 in the back bumps, 
a row of double crochet, double crochet on the edge, 15 front post double crochets, 15 back post double crochets, and a double crochet on the end. And that you just repeat until you're out of scarfy yarn. I had, I used three skeins and I also made a headband. You start here. I'll show you that in a little bit. But you start here and whatever you have left as long as you finish off with a full square. So you just want to finish off with a full square. Don't try not try not to stop in the middle of one of these because it really looks nice with the with the alternating basket weavy looking thing. This one is a super scarf. It's very very wide. You could always alter it to make it a little bit narrower if you wanted to, but I like it. It's almost a shawl. It's very warm and it's very nice. And that all you need to do is when you make your square this way and then you're going to switch and then you switch and whenever you get to the very end do one row of single crochets just to finish off with the chain one and single crochet all the way across so that the first edge looks like the last edge. And I think this one looks so much fun the way that it is. Don't even didn't even consider making a border for it. So that's why I just wanted to finish off this edge with a nice single crochet all the way across. I do not want to do any kind of a border or anything on here because I like how it looks. It's just lumpy and fuzzy and scarfy yarn is always so much fun to work with. And there's my very last one. So you see this edge is going to match this edge. That's why we work into the back bumps of the chain so you get a finished edge. And it's really, really fun. And here is the finished product. Look at that. It's huge! Isn't this great? I just love this scarf. So, I hope you love this too. It's a really easy pattern. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making really fun projects like this and sharing it with all of you. So, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.